Hey, Kevin. Kevin, hey. You there? Hey, what? Kevin. What? Is the broken dude? Come on. Mm. Come on, biatch. Dude, I'm fucking sleeping. Sleeping? It's time to do the broken. Dude. Ramsey. Dude, put these nuts in your mouth, man. <laughs> Dude, Dub, <clears throat> let's shoot an episode of The Broken, man. Uh, I, we just shot one. That was like two and a half years ago. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's shoot another episode of The Broken. Huh? Ah, shit. Pass me that shit. There we go. I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't want to fuck with me. I don't know. I still hate that shit. Dude, we have message boards. Message boards? Yeah. For what? The broken. The broken. Oh yeah. This is not a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is a real thing. Kick back, watch it crumble. See the drowning. Watch the fall. Hello, welcome to Broken, episode number four. I'm Kevin Rose. Double D. It's been a while since we've done an episode of The Broken, but we're back. That's right, so let's uh, be like pimps and pop it off with a couple foes. Let's do it. We've got a great episode planned for you today. For all of our international viewers, because this is kind of borderline illegal in the United States, mm -hmm. we're going to show you the latest in cell phone jamming technology. So if you've ever been around someone that's just annoying and using their cell phone, push a button and it pretty much eliminates their entire connection. Which is cool. Yeah. But uh, something maybe even a little cooler is Ramsey. Mm. He's back with another hacker tip. And we're also going to show you how to hack the Xbox 360. I'm talking about backing up your games and playing them in case there was ever any type of, uh, you know, fire or theft or things like that. So, important information. Mm -hmm. But let's first kick things off with a little cell phone jamming. There's an estimated 195 million cell phones in the United States alone. Mm -hmm. And we're all cell phone users, but it sucks when people use them in restaurants or concerts or even movie theaters. Yeah, so today we're gonna show you a couple different cell phone jammers, how they operate, and how to protect yourself against them. All right, cell phone jammers come in typically a couple different sizes. One, a small unit like this one that transmits between 20 to 40 feet, and a much larger unit that uses AC power that transmits between 1 to 200 feet. Now, once you turn the jammer on, it's going to transmit a signal that collides with the cell phone. Once that happens, the call drops. Now, the models that we have here jam GSM, TDMA, CDMA, and also PCS. These are typically the frequencies that you find in the United States and Canada. But if you are in Europe, there are a couple different models that will jam those frequencies as well. Now, we've heard that people use these to fuck with other people. But of course, we would never do anything like that because that is, of course, highly illegal. Wow, so fearful. Long lines are unavoidable at theme parks, so that $50 price of admission really doesn't pay for itself when you can't physically ride everything during the day. Now most people don't know this, but for an extra $20 in supplies, you can get access to every single ride front of the line every time. Step one, buy yourself a pair of used crutches. Step two, get some ace bandages. And step three, find a couple of guys stupid enough to give this a try. I think that's us. Let's do it.
All right, so how do I go about protecting myself then? Well, we kind of lied to you at the beginning. There is no real way to protect yourself. But if someone is using one of these devices, most likely you shouldn't be using your cell phone there anyway. Mm -hmm. Churches, airport runways, stuff like that. Okay, how much do they cost then, and can I build one myself? Well, if you're going to buy one, they're between three to five hundred dollars, and it's kind of hard to build one because they've blacked out all of the chips on the actual device. So you can't go in, read which chips you need, and then go out and buy those. Uh, and we also have to tell you, if you are going to build or buy one of these, check with local law enforcement first because it may be illegal. Okay, so listen, we shot this shit overseas, right? I want to mm -hmm. do this in the United States. What's the deal? Well, the problem is if you have this base station in any given spot for too long, mm -hmm. the FCC is going to pick you up and they're going to throw you in jail. So you can't do it. This is only for people internationally. You know what? All I'm saying is fuck the FCC. You know who else says fuck the FCC? Ramsey? Fucking motherfucking Ramsey. Yep. He's back with a motherfucking hacker tip, bitches. I know my hacker reaction this time. This time. What, 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 what? I'm a nigga with an attitude, thanks to y'all. And I don't give a fuck, I keep it gangsta, y'all. I'm a vibe on my side in a CPT. God bless the memory of Easy e If it wasn't for me, where the fuck you be? Rapping like the treacherous three fucking cowards. Hey, 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 hey. Hello guys, my hacker Biagis. I was typing something on the internet. They, I tried to hack somebody, they hacked me actually, okay? Uh, it's time for another hacker tip. You know, I listen to a lot of music, but I don't like my music with digital right management. If you hack, then you know I like Snow Dog. Tupac and of course, props the IG. Okay, let's get started. First of all, download QT Fair U6. Now be aware you need Ryzen, the snake, for this. Type. Now click here. The DRM is destroyed, gun with the wind. Now you can download from iTunes, AVD, have no worries. Peace to broken crew. <laughs> Ramsey, you did it again. Another fantastic hacker tip. That's right. So you monitor your Xbox, but you just got a 360. So how are you going to hack it? We're going to show you how. You know what was bound to happen, and it finally did. The Xbox 360 has been hacked. Right, you don't have the limitless features that the original Xbox hack had, but you do have the most important thing, and that's the ability to back up your original games. Yeah, and one of the nice things about this mod is you remember the original Xbox, bunch of different solder points, Xbox 360, 100% software based, so no soldering required. Right, and that's actually an easy part of the hack. There are some more difficult things, like uh, actually taking the shell off of the 360. Nice. That's pretty time consuming. The second part is copying the games. It's not a disk to disk, one to one copy right. that you would do with Nero or Toast. It just doesn't work that way. And the third part is the actual tools that you need. You need very specific things. If you don't have them, it's not going to work. Yeah, so let's go over everything to complete the project. <laughs> Now, first and foremost, you need one of two types of Xbox 360s. Uh, it's either the Hitachi drive or the Samsung drive. And you can actually easily tell which one that you have just by opening up the DVD tray, you can see. Uh, there's also a third drive uh, made by Philips, but the problem is, we're, at the time of the taping, we're not exactly sure if that is able to be hacked yet. Right, and the Xbox that we have is a Samsung drive, so we're just going to focus on that. But Team Executor has just released a hardware mod for Hitachi owners. It lets you do the hack even without opening the Xbox, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. So the next thing that you're going to need is the actual hacked firmware. Mm -hmm. 3.0 is the latest and greatest. Uh, it's about 12 megs. You can find it online, so just do some searching. Then you'll need a PC with onboard serial ATA or a serial ATA add-in card. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky because it's very important that you use the right chipset. If you don't have the right chipset in the card, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. So we'll provide you a list of links so you can check that out. 
Now the motherboard we're using for this is the MSI K8N Neo 4 Platinum Edition. Now this is really great because this motherboard actually has the chipset that you need built right on board. Yeah, it's got the, uh, the onboard uh, serial ATA. It's ready to go out of the box. It's great. Yep. And you're also going to need a DVD plus R dual layer drive uh, that needs to support uh, book type and bit setting. Uh, the, the drive that we used was the NEC uh, ND3550A. That was a great one. Uh, the biggest reason because you know we didn't need to do book type or bit setting whatsoever. Out of the box it worked, it was 30 bucks. So if you're in the market for that too, it's really cheap. Yeah, you said you can just get that on newegg.com or something mm -hmm. like that, right? Yep. And you're also gonna need a bunch of software. So there's trial software that you can get, but a lot of this is also freeware. Uh, a few major applications you're gonna need are Hex Workshop, uh, DVD Info Pro, there's ISO Buster, and of course, one of our favorites, Clone CD. Absolutely. We got everything prepared now, so let's start the hack. Let's do it. Hello, welcome to Blockfister, the easiest way to get DVDs absolutely free. Now, since we've been fisting you for so long at our brick and mortar stores, we're gonna show you how to get those movies back to our distribution centers. Blockfister! Take the DVDs we send you in the mail, decrypt them, copy them, scan them, and print out a label and affix it to the copy. Just send us back the copy and you keep the original. We won't be able to tell the difference and we'll mail your copy out to someone else. Step one is to disassemble the Xbox 360 shell. Now this is a little complicated, but we have a link to some videos that should help you through the process. It took us about 45 minutes to an hour. We broke off some clips. Uh, it will probably never reassemble again. <laughs> but but uh, it's, it's, it's definitely avoiding your warranty, so just be aware of that. Also something else to remember, uh, keep your AV, your AV cables to your Xbox plugged in. The Xbox has a tendency to shut off if it's not plugged in. So when you're doing a, a firmware flash, you can really cause some like really major problems. So after that, what we need to do is make a backup of the original firmware, orange.bin. Uh, to do that, what you need to do is make a DOS boot disk from Windows and then copy over mtkflash.exe and mtkflash.typ. These are the files that you got from your firmware, uh, your hacked firmware that you download, that mm -hmm. whole package. And uh, so now all you need to do is connect the 360 drive via serial ATA, um, either the onboard or the PCI serial ATA, and then you're set. Yeah, now all you have to do is turn on your 360 and boot from the floppy and make sure to run this command, mtk flash space r space forward slash m orage.bin. Press enter. You'll be asked whether it's the SEC master or slave. Choose SEC master and then the app will read the flash. It takes pretty much no time at all and just reboot the PC and make sure to remove the floppy. Now once you're in Windows, browse to the floppy and copy orage.bin to a safe spot because that's your original firmware backup. Um, you'll need this just in case anything goes wrong and we actually did need it ourselves because things went very wrong. Exactly. Our next step is to extract the key from the original firmware and inject it into the, the hack firmware. Now to do that, go ahead and open Hex Workshop, press Control G, choose Hex, and then set the offset to 4000. Click Edit, select Block, then select Hex, enter 200, right click, and then select Copy. And now go ahead, open Extreme30.bin, and repeat, but paste it instead of copying it. Save it as broken.bin and you're good to go. Our last step in hacking the 360 is to reflash the Samsung drive with the hacked firmware. Just copy broken.bin onto the floppy and boot from it. Type mtk flash space w space forward slash m space broken.bin, press enter, and the Xbox 360 is hacked. So now that the 360 is hacked, we're getting up to the, the most difficult part, which is actually backing up the games. Like we said earlier, you can't just do a disk to disk copy. It doesn't work that way. So here's the process of how to make it work. Go ahead and burn the activate.iso uh, out to a DVD plus R. You'll find this in the, the firmware that you download, that whole package, it's in there. Then go ahead and connect the 360 back to the PC and go ahead and power on the 360. After the ISO has been burned out to the DVD, go ahead and put it into the 360. 
Wait five to 10 seconds and remove the DVD from the 360 and now you're in the 0800 mode. Now turn on your PC and boot into Windows. Insert the original game disc into Windows and wait for it to show up under My Computer. Run DVD Info Pro and enter the four custom CDB commands. Now you'll notice here that the only thing that's changed between these four different rows is the second to last column where it's 01, 03, 05, and 07. Then save the hexadecimal display as bin file ss.bin. All right, so let's run DVD Info Pro again. This time we're going to extract the PFI sector. From the advanced commands menu, choose send custom command. Then from preset commands menu, choose 00H physical format information from under the read DVD struct commands heading. Click send and save the hex display as pfi.bin. Now we're going to use DVD Info Pro again to extract the DMI sector. From advanced commands, choose 04H disk manufacturing info and then save hex display as dmi.bin. Now it's time to create your game backups. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're still in the 0800 mode. And you do that just by not turning off your Xbox mm -hmm. console. It's that easy. All right, so go ahead and, and insert the original game disk into the drive again and wait for Windows to detect the, the disk change. Go ahead and run DVD Info Pro again. Enter the following custom CDB command to actually unlock the drive. It's FF080101. Now go ahead and run ISOBuster, right click on DVD and select Extract From To. Now just enter the LBA number depending on what type of Xbox game it is. 3431264 decimal is for Xbox One games and 3567872 decimal is for Xbox 360 games. Make sure to select User Data 2048 Bytes Per Block and click Start Extraction. Now name the file as game.iso and click save. Copy game.iso, ss.bin, pfi.bin, and dmi.bin to the relevant directory. And then run build360.bat or build.bat for Xbox 360 or Xbox One. Now just burn it out with clone CD and choose image.dvd file and you're set to go. So now just restart the Xbox because you want to exit out of that 0800 mode mm -hmm. and then you're ready to play your backed up game. So this is uh, Quake 4. Here's the original. And let's put it in. Let's see what happens. Push let's hope. Button. Come on work baby. Closing. Come on. Read Reading. it. Read it. Takes a couple seconds longer when it's a burned backed up disc. Oh, does it? <laughs> and we do own the original. Is that so. the truth? Yeah, it does. <laughs> there it goes. Boom. Dark, dark tipper. And let's see. Come on baby. Come on. Please. It's Please. Yes. Is. Done deal. Done. Awesome. Fuck yeah. Done. Cheers, Double D. Okay, Rose, cheers to that. Listen, all this love and support we've gotten probably, listen, for the last, what, three years at least? Three and a half years, something like that. Seriously, we appreciate it so much. This is what drove us to do this new episode. Yeah, seriously, we weren't going to do another one and then people kept hounding us and hounding us and it really pushed us and we really want to thank everybody out there for watching The Broken. We had a great time doing it. Absolutely. Great time drinking some 40s and as you can see, uh, we've done just that tonight. That's right. I'm Double D. I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time, let it be arch. Cheers.
California quick saying got a nigga sinking. I can give a fuck what you bitches drinking. Baller, nigga, I'm a Hall of Famer, Lion Tamer, with two, four, fifth famers, understand, understand, that your life's in danger, did your mama, tell you not to talk to strangers, little nigga, I'm the hillside strangler, have a banger, calling for the long ranger, most rappers, they wanna fuck singers, I'm a nigga, that wanna own the panger, G4, pull it up out the hanger, a little something, the few you niggas anger, the swine, I'm your face rearranger in a mansion, cause Jesus born in a manger, motherfucker, motherfucker. belong on Jerry Springer, I'm a gangster, up in your CD changer, I'll gank you. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> It's a python, right? Python, python. Python, python, my <laughs> dick, man. Python. Holy shit, Kevin, is that your old computer? Yes. <laughs> I bought it. I paid for this money. Oh, Dude, shit. Dude, check it out. Check it out. He's got, shit. he's got this hack right there, but he <laughs> switches switch it to Linux and Windows. I gave you a damn good deal for that computer. You owe me. I paid 300 bucks for this. No, you didn't. Uh, yeah. You paid 300 bucks. He ripped you off. No, I didn't. He ripped me a long time ago. <laughs> and he called him my, himself my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Hello, welcome to Broken episode number four. Shit. Ready? Three. Damn, come on, man. Two. Kill my lungs. One. The unit simple. Oh. To operate the unit simple switch. What is. I don't understand what that's supposed to say. To operate the unit simple switch. The simply. Oh, simply. S I M P L E. <laughs> simply. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the FCC can catch you, and they, yeah, they, they monitor all the frequencies, and they can catch you. So we don't recommend doing this at home unless you're outside the United States. But... But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a second. Uh, you jump, grab it, nigga. No, 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 no. Give, give me some of that shit, give me some of that shit, give me some of that shit. Uh, no, 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 it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Give me, give me that shit. All right, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> I'm... Friggin' smoking this. Right. You, see, you know right. what I mean? Go, My go, lungs go. are dying. Go, go. So we need to do it like this. This is what we need to do. I need to have them down here. And then you're gonna cut away from that that shot. Put put your thing What's down up? there. What's up? Open what the fuck are you doing? Nothing, dude. Just chilling. Just make sure it don't bitch. Yeah. Wait, what's I don't know what's going on. So dude, I can't drink anymore. <laughs> you need to say that. Don't be a bitch. Listen, we need to finish this shit. Like motherfucking pimps. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Oh shit, you're gonna fucking throw up tonight, dog. <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck you, <laughs> your bitch ass ways. <laughs> Cause you just called me out. What did I call you out for? You started drinking when you were up here. I waited. I watched. What did you wait for? I watched how you, you were being a bitch. You waited too long. You should have started drinking. That's I your watch, problem. I watched how you were being a problem, bitch. That's your problem, bitch. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. I waited too long. Somebody has some shit left, and I don't. Finish it. Hello again. My high carb reaction is Ramsey back up in that ass. Hello guys. Ramsey back to up to that that, that ass. <laughs> but I'm now. I'm back to my dad ass. Ramsey back to up to the dad ass. I'm back to my dad ass. Ass? Let's start over, let's start over. <laughs> like, Prager, we got a million motherfucking dollars. I want eight more 40s over here right away. <laughs> right away. Go ahead, you start the line, Nova. Oh shit, okay, one more time. All right, so we did this shit outside the United States. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, I want to do this in the U.S., and I want to do this to my homies. Yeah, but the problem about doing it in the U.S. is you keep the base station activated for too long, the FCC is going to come down on you, and they're going to throw you in jail. Uh-huh. So you got to do it outside of the country. Why? Because you got to. You got to. <laughs> See, so you can't ask me why. Yeah, I know. So well, I'll be like... I just didn't have anything so to I'll say. So I'll be like... I like when you said you uh, didn't say to my friend. You said we did it in the United States. The first sentence you said. <laughs> That's bad. That's three. Bottles up. Three, two. All right, so listen. We shot the shit in the United States, right? No, that... we didn't shoot the shit in the United States. <laughs> we shot Bottles it internationally. Up. We shot it out of U.S. territory. Overseas, man. Overseas. Three. Overseas. Overseas. Three, two. 
All right, so listen, we shot the shit overseas, right? Right. You didn't care when this pussy wanted to fuck you because you did it broken. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, seriously. You know what I mean? Forget my bald area. Yeah, he, he complains. He's like, "Fuck broken, fuck this." First time a high ass chick is like, "Ramsey, I love your hacker tips." He'll do one every fucking. Hey, Ramsey, love your ass. That's good. Fucking money. That's good. Felt good. That felt really good. Do you want to just fucking drop it one more time, just for safety? That was pretty fucking good. Let's rewatch it.